everyone, it's Kidu, and in this video I'm going to be doing a closer look of Oba's uh, gothic version figure by Good Small Company. I apologize for the shitty quality, unfortunately I'm filming on my iPad again because my phone is not working. So I'm going to do a quick 360 here. Um, he is a 1 8 scale. He is not connected to the base in any way. He's literally just connected to the giant chest piece. Um, I apologize for any shakiness. <laughs> my iPad is very large. So this makes it extremely difficult to film with because I'm very close to the screen and I need to keep him far away because like the wide angle is very bad on this. It does not have a wide angle. Um, so yeah, that is what he looks like 360. Now we'll get a little closer. This will focus. Again, there's going to be quite a bit of shaking when I shift um, like holding positions, I guess. So this is what he looks like. The details on his outfit are really, really good. I really, really love how he turned out. Everything has an almost like metallic -y sheen to it. Like his shirt looks very much like satin. Um, again, I apologize for the grain and just the general quality of this <laughs> if I had my phone this would be a lot better um and here is Ren I'm trying to even see where he is he's actually way farther away than my camera is showing and then of course my camera is not focusing but here's what Ren looks like the little I guess ribbon around his hat I don't even know what to call it um that looks quite metallic-y and very sparkly as well Underneath of his hat has this gradient, and he has a little feather with a little paw print detailing here. Like, the detail on this thing is insane. The fact that it has a gradient, like, his fur is really good, his cute little boots have the little ties in the front. His little neck scarf thing. The little ears on top. And his eyes tongue sorry the it's it's really well done as you can see the base here is a fabric what the hell do you call that i honestly can't remember what it's called it's like a the velvety velvet is it velvet i think it's velvet i'm gonna bring him a little closer so i can show you the details on his arms and such His lips are painted glossy. Um, the lighting here is very difficult for me to actually show you. Just kind of frustrating. His hat looks awesome. Sorry again for the shakiness. Um, my iPad's gigantic, so it's quite heavy to move around, so my arm keeps moving. Oh, I just love it. Like, I love the way it turned out. I love the colors. I love the, the textures to everything. He just looks super rich and fancy. His coat's super long, has all this feathering on the bottom. The detailing on the back of his coat here. I have him on like a fabric-y thing so I can turn it around because his base has, it's just a little heavy, so it's kind of hard to turn his grip around. Or turn him around, because he keeps like sticking to the ground. I'm just gonna zoom in on like the color of his coat. It's awesome, everything has a shimmer to it. His hand is a really cool pose. down to the boots again. It's got little heels going on. Fancy gold trim. Also again I'm trying to film off the side of my desk because I can't put it too close because then the camera to my iPad is on top so then the rest of the iPad just hits the desk. It's not a good time. And then we have the chest piece here which is just like a glossy black. 
kind of hard to show in video because he just keeps reflecting light. If you haven't seen the unboxing, I will link that in the description below so you can take a look if you're interested. Um, I'll show you how he is packaged and how he is put together more or less. Um, he pretty much just has like a peg in his arm and it goes into the, the chest piece there. And I hope I showed enough. I am extremely tired tonight. Uh, and he, I, this thing is heavy and it's taking just a long time to film. I'm just tired, guys. Oy. Again, I apologize for not filming or, um, for not uploading consistently. Uh, I just got a lot of stuff going on and just haven't really had a lot of time to do this. And then when I do, I'm either too tired or, like, I need to go out somewhere. It's just ridiculous. The underneath of his hat is just, like, white. It's so hard to show because it doesn't really want to focus, but... You can see the detailing. If it would focus. <laughs> underneath the hat, which is really awesome. Please focus. Mm. I'm trying, guys. <laughs> but yeah, he turned out really, really pretty. I'm really happy that I ended up getting him. I think he is one of my favorites now, which is really surprising. Um, just the way he turned out and the way everything looks, like the little flower on his hat, just everything it is so nice like the details are so nice <laughs> and I don't see any issues with him that I have at all so that doesn't happen very often normally I have something I hardcore nitpick about um, like a scrape or a scratch or just something with the figures sculpt that I don't like but I really really like how he turned out um, again I apologize for the quality of this video if you guys are interested in the in the um, unboxing. I was going to say closer look, but the unboxing, check out the description below. I really appreciate that. I will also link my social media in the description below along with my affiliate links through CD Japan and Tokyo Takamo, so you can check those out if you want as well. And that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I will see you all in the next one, and thank you so, so much for watching. And also, I appreciate all the help from you, those of you who buy from my affiliate links, so thank you so much. Alrighty, have a good night, guys, or I guess daytime if it's daytime. It's night where I am. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!